Greetings YouTube. How is everybody doing out there today? It is beautiful Monday. It's a little chilly today guys. It only stayed about the low 40s today. It's a little chilly. But not too bad. It's about 10 till 6 Monday. I'm pretty sure it's the 4th today guys. 4th of December. Man, can you believe how fast time is going guys? It is moving. Time waits on no man. But anyway, without further ado, I changed the oil in this thing, guys. Um, this Briggs and Stratton, it had that STP on it, but that STP didn't have a number on it. So I bought this at Tractor Supply, and uh, be honest with you guys, I didn't know if it was going to work or not. So I bought it. I bought it assuming it's going to work, and it worked. Because I really can't find no numbers on this, guys. But this is what I did find. There's the number for it. That's the number for it, the Briggs and Stratton. And then this is the number for the Fram. Now, when I was looking, uh, when I went there, guys, there's really no guides or anything. I just kind of took a picture of my... Um, my oil filter and I, I went up there and I looked at it and that one there looked real close. So I said, well, I'll buy it. If worse comes to worse, I can take it back. And so I got it. It works fine. So I bought that Fram uh, oil filter because um, now that I know that one there is going to work too, um, I'm going to probably buy a couple more frames next time I go up to uh, Home Depot or one of them. I'll pick up a couple more of them. Because, guys, I, I probably have to change the oil on this thing a few more times. Hopefully, this thing will last for a while. Because I only use this thing, I'm thinking maybe 25 weeks a year, guys. Maybe 30, if that. Um, or 25 days out of the year. I'm sorry, I said weeks. Um, because I only cut my grass usually on the weekends. And um, it's usually, uh, you know, Saturday or Sunday, whatever, whatever day I, I, I figure out I'm going to do it. So, and then when it gets to this time of the year, guys, I can go two, three weeks without cutting my grass because when it gets cold, it ain't really moving. They, grass, weeds, trees, all of they like heat and humidity. Like some people out there, they love the heat. I don't. And they love that humidity. I don't. So, so, guys, what you do is you unscrew this right here so Eric can get down there. And you unscrew and pop it out like that so Eric can get down in there. And then this yellow thing right here, guys, you basically, I'm not going to do it, but you unscrew like that. There's a little groove there, and you just pop it out, and then you pop off this this little um, cap there. You screw it back on there. And then you just let it drain out. And what I did, I just popped it out over the weekend and just let it sit and I, in my oil pan there and I just let it drain out that way I know it all got out and then I replaced the oil with this right here guys you could probably use 530 and get away with it but I used it I like the casserole edge so I replaced it with the casserole edge and um that's what I used and it used about a quart and a half guys about a quart and a half what I do guys I, I this funnel right here, I dump, I, I, I like fill it all the way up, let it run down, fill it all the way up, let it run down, and then I start checking it with the dipstick. It ain't like the, because uh, the dipstick goes right into the oil. The oil goes right to the bottom. It ain't like a car where you got to wait for everything to settle to the bottom. It's already at the bottom, guys. So, that's, that's what I did, guys. So that there, for anybody out there that, uh, Wants to change their oil. Are they all the same? I have no idea, guys. I have no idea. That's just something uh, uh, the, that you need to probably check on, too. See, I, I don't have this right here, guys. I don't have that on my phone. Um, for some reason, my phone just it won't do it. So, But I'm sure if you scan that right there, it'll probably give you everything you need to know if your engine has one on there. So, And then I, I took the deck off. I took the deck off so I could sharpen my blades up. So I sharpened my blades up, got them ready. Got all that old grass and stuff out from under there, guys. Um, last year, I hit a stump. I bent both of these blades, and I broke the shafts that hold the blade. 
So I found a guy on eBay. I got both of them for like 80 bucks, the blades and the shafts. And then I bought another shaft just in case if it ever happens again. So the blades, you probably straighten them out most of the time. I just put new ones on it, guys. So, and then I put a new dry belt on there, guys. The dry belt's pretty easy. All you got to do is just take some pictures. Once you take that thing down, it, it's only got like, like four hangers and they're carter pins. And, and then this right here, I guess this is the stabilizing. Keeps it stable. Up there's in the front. Real easy to do. And then I used my jack over there and a couple of jack stands and I jacked the thing up. And uh, the only thing you have to do, guys, you have to pull the battery out because the pulley, there's a pulley right up under here. That's if you got a 2400. Are they all the same? I have no idea, guys. This is my first riding lawnmower I've ever had, guys. Because I used to push, I didn't have a lot, most of my land was taken over by weeds and stuff. So I just carved out enough like right in here, right where my little fire pit and stuff is, up to my back door and stuff. And I did it with a push mower, guys. And um, probably my first year I did it with a push mower because I didn't know, I didn't know what I was going to get as far as ride lawnmower went. So I was trying to find somebody, a friend or somebody that had one. And... Um, uh, the guy I work with, he had this thing. I think he paid fourteen, seventeen hundred dollars for it at Sears when they were around here, guys. And he's only he only had the thing. He bought it seventeen. I got it. I think in twenty one is when I bought it from him. So I got it from him. Um, I bought it in twenty one. I gave him five hundred bucks for the thing, and. It, it it works. He wanted a zero turn, kind of like what I was wanting. But more and more I think about it, guys, I probably won't need a zero turn. I probably unless I get a good deal on one. Unless I get a good deal on one on uh Craigslist or something. Uh yeah, I, I still Craigslist because I, I don't have Facebook. So but that's pretty much it, guys. I am going to look at the... It's got a starter and an alternator on there, guys. I am going to look at... See if I can find some numbers. And um, I want to have a backup. I want to get a... Be a see how much they are. If they're cheap, they're cheap enough, I'm going to probably buy a new starter and buy a, a backup alternator. And uh, plugs. Whenever I buy plugs, guys, I always buy two or three at the same time. You never know when you might need it for something else or, you know... Sometimes they interchange. And the only reason why I buy that stuff, guys, is so I can be ahead of the game. If so, my starter ever went out, I have a new starter. If my alternator goes out on this thing, I'll have a new alternator. So, well, that's pretty much it, guys. I gotta put, I'll put the deck and stuff back on there tomorrow. And if it don't rain, then I'll um, uh, take this out for a test drive and see how it, how it rides and it runs and everything. This is a Craftsman T2400. So, so guys, that's pretty much it. Um, as far as doing the maintenance on this thing, I, I wanted to do it last winter, but everything just happened so fast, guys. I never got a chance to do it. I'm glad I made it through the summer. Uh, the oil really wasn't that dirty, guys. Because I, I, I might, you know, I don't use this thing a whole lot. I really don't. One day a week, maybe 25, 30 day, days out of the year. That's it. I cut my grass my neighbor over there cuts his grass twice a week. I see why he does it. But I, I, a lot of times I don't have time, guys, and I can only cut it once a week. So, Because when he cuts it twice a week, he don't have as much uh, grass clippings laying in his yard. I, sometimes I got to run out there with my rake and rake up grass clippings. And I even have the thing set real high so uh, it does less grass cl clippings. But... In the summertime, guys, that grass, it, it'll grow six, eight inches, you know, in a week. So, because they love heat and humidity. So, well, guys, like this video, share this video, comment down below if you like. Uh, share it to your social media if you don't mind. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. I got a, uh, I'll show you my new toy that I bought. And um, it's really going to help me, guys, get to where I want to go because now I, I got something that I can move stuff around with. So stay tuned for that video. Um, 
I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I know I did. And um, I hope you guys have a great Christmas coming up. Always have a great Christmas, guys. If you're alive out there, you got your health, you got all your wealth, you're doing good. So Christmas has already came to you. Just pray that we have a great, great new year. Which, you know, a lot of people are saying a lot of bad stuff about next year. But just, guys, keep your eyes open, your ears open. And um, just play it safe. And I, I hope you guys have a great, great Christmas and a great, great new year. And uh, stay tuned for my next video. I got to get this up out of here first before I can bring in my, my new toy. So, well, guys, until the next time, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.